But what is the role of MTHFR in clotting? And is it a problem for people that get COVID-19? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at the risks of clotting in common when you have MTHFR alterations in COVID-19. I just wanna point out though, that I don't have a lot of experience treating patients with COVID-19, so I'm not taking my clinical experience from treating patients with COVID-19. Rather, I'm gonna look at it more from the MTHFR standpoint, where I do have a lot of experience treating patients with MTHFR. This question was submitted by a viewer who was curious about increased risk of clotting and blood clots in COVID-19 when you have an MTHFR alteration. So I was curious about this myself, so I did do a little bit more research uh, from the COVID-19 standpoint, and I'll be putting the links in the description if you wanna check that out. But if you like this type of information, if you like the video, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get into it. So Mary H asks, I'd be interested in hearing more about clotting disorders that may be related related uh, specifically, she's saying, to MTHFR alterations, considering clotting is an issue in poor outcomes, in poor COVID-19 outcomes. So the reason for clotting in COVID-19 uh, is not fully understood at this point, but it is clear that you know there is increased risk of clotting in some people, and those that are having the clotting tend to have poor outcomes. Um, some of the leading theories as to the cause uh, of this increased clotting is basically damage to the vessels. And anytime there's damage to the vessels, there's going to be more risk for clotting. And the virus binds to the ACE2 receptor, and there are ACE2 receptors in the endothelial lining of the arteries where, where clotting can occur. And so clotting is kind of a complex uh, interplay of a lot of different things, but there's something called the complement system, system uh, where inflammation kind of uh, increases the activity of the complement system, which can uh, lead to more clotting in general. So there could be other reasons why this is occurring. And I looked at a, an article in Nature that I'll put in the description so you can check that out if you're interested. But basically, they don't know why uh, the increased clotting is occurring at this point, but it's clear that it is occurring. So regardless of the exact cause of the clotting in COVID-19, the question remains, does having MTHFR increase the chance of clotting in general, or does it increase the chance of clotting if you do get COVID-19. So to look at this question regarding MTHFR in general, I looked at some of the past and current research and many studies have failed to find the exact reason why those with MTHFR, um, and you're usually looking at MTHFR C677T uh, alteration, uh, they failed to find the, the exact reason or mechanism of why there's increased clotting. Now, some studies have found increased clotting, so there is that risk there, but uh, the exact reason uh, isn't exactly known, and the most common reason given, or theory, is higher, higher levels of homocysteine when you have MTHFR alteration. And having higher homocysteine can lead to a disturbance in the blood vessels, also you know, inflammation in the arteries and the blood vessels. And this may sound similar to the reason given for increased incidence of clotting with COVID-19. So yes, there is some overlap there. But keep in mind, <clears throat> not all the studies that look to determine whether or not MTHFR C677T has increased risk of clotting, not all of them have found that there is an actual increased risk of clotting. And I'll put links to an article, PubMed article, in the description as well if you're interested in that. The uh, research that does show that there's an increased risk of clotting, um, it's not really a huge increased risk, but there, there may be an increased risk. Um, and so but all the studies kind of point towards the increased risk being related to homocysteine. So taking all this information together, I come to this conclusion. Get your homocysteine level checked and see what it is. If it's high, you certainly do want to do something about it to, to lower it, especially if you have the C677T alteration in your MTHFR. If it's not high, if it's you know if it's normal, then I wouldn't be as concerned. What is a high homocysteine? Anything you know, in the double digits would be considered high, anything above 10. And as it goes up from there, it gets higher and higher and you want to be yeah, obviously more aggressive. Taking multiple measurements can be helpful to know that there is a pattern there of high homocysteine. And there's different things that can influence homocysteine levels, such as diet, fed and fasting states. So keep all that in mind. But 
generally your homocysteine is high, you probably want to look at doing something to lower that homocysteine uh, in the setting of COVID-19 and probably just in general. Thanks for watching the video on risks of clotting with MTHFR in the presence of COVID-19. If you have a burning question about MTHFR or any other health-related issue, ask it in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that particular topic. Thanks for watching.